Welcome back to the Gentleman's Gazette. Today's video is the third and final installment in our three-part series about off-the-rack, made-to-measure, and custom and bespoke shirts. You can find the other two parts here. We'll discuss what a bespoke shirt is, how it is different from a custom shirt, or if there are any differences at all, and we summarize what makes the best shirt for each type of shirt buyer. <laughs> means essentially that an item has been bespoken for and it means that this item is created for you from scratch with an individual pattern and there are no limitations as to what the individual parts look like, the collar or the stitching or the cuffs or anything else for that matter. In comparison to made to measure, you do not have to choose from pre-existing collar styles or cuff styles, but you can just come up with your own. The big pro of a true bespoke shirt, sometimes also referred to as custom shirt, is that you get a superb fit. Typically, it all starts with your measurements being taken by the tailor or shirt maker who will actually make your shirt. With their years of experience, they'll observe you, they'll look at certain imperfections in your body. Is a shoulder lower? They measure not just one arm, but both to make sure that, that they get the length exactly right. They look at your armhole, is one lower than the other? They look at your hips and they just understand what your body is and they talk to you while they take the measurements and understand what type of person you are, when you wear the shirt and uh, what you need from your shirts. As a consequence, you'll end up with a shirt that will much likely fit you better than anything you can find off the rack or from made to measure. Don't expect that your first shirt will fit 100% because even though you do fittings, there are always some imperfections that you see in the final shirt that you can then change in the pattern for the second, third, and subsequent shirts. Now you may wonder, how much better can the fit of a bespoke shirt be if I already take the measurements of my made-to-measure shirt? Well, your body has certain curvatures and angles. For example, my right shoulder is more sloped than my left one. It also means my right armpit sits lower than my left one. So even on a made-to-measure shirt with my measurements, I'm more likely to get wrinkles right underneath my armpit and also in the back of my shoulder blade on my right side, but not so much on my left. Because typically a ready-to-wear pattern or a made-to-measure pattern that is modified is typically still symmetrical and it's harder for most companies to adjust a pattern on one side but not on the other. A bespoke shirt maker on your hand can certainly accommodate all those little nuances that computerized major measure programs can't. Also a shirt maker typically just makes shirts and has perfected that craft. Whereas a made to measure company that comes more from the supply chain and the logistics background tries to offer a wide range of things and likely they don't have quite the same expertise. Typically a bespoke shirt maker also makes a trial shirt for you out of a less expensive fabric in order to make sure they get the fit just right without wasting the expensive fabric. For you as a customer, it provides you with the opportunity to see what the shirt looks like, to feel where it's maybe a little too tight, and to provide input on stylistic details or changes that you would like or ideas that you have. That is not something you get during the major measure, measure process because it's only here's my shirt fabric, here's my collar, here are my measurements, and here's my finished shirt. There is nothing in between. Also, Bespoke Shirt will allow you to fine-tune the fit of your shirt in combination with your jacket. Because, for example, if you have a shirt with a larger armhole than your jacket, it will pull up your sleeve. But even if you, let's say, have shirts with a very small armhole and it won't be a problem with your jackets, the jacket sleeve can have slightly different lengths. So let's say you create a double cuff that is longer and you have six or maybe even eight buttonholes added, you can adjust the length of that shirt to every jacket so it's just right. The other big pro of the bespoke process is that the sky is the limit and pretty much any design element or fabric should be able to be made into a bespoke shirt. 
Most bespoke shirt makers will have a few fabrics that you can choose from in their studio, but they also have tons of samples and they can get pretty much any cut length from any weaver and just make a shirt for you from that. Also, once they've created the pattern and maybe you choose a very thick fabric or then maybe a very thin fabric, they can slightly adjust that pattern when they cut the fabric to make sure that it feels the same in terms of fit when you wear it. You can also communicate your expectations of what you want and don't worry if the shirt maker feels like they're unable to accommodate that, they will likely let you know. Also understand that there are different shirt makers with different strengths and they may have their own house style. So a German or English bespoke shirt maker probably uses a machine more often, the lines are cleaner versus a Neapolitan shirt maker will have maybe a kind of waterfall shoulder with slight handwork in it. And it's just a different interpretation. So asking the German shirt maker to make you a Neapolitan shirt and vice versa will just not result in a perfect final product. On that note, if you want a fully hand-sewn shirt, check out the brand 100 Hands, which is Dutch, but the shirts are actually made in India. So the big question is, is hand sewing a shirt better than machine sewing? And in my opinion, not necessarily, but it is certainly more expensive because it takes more labor to create a shirt that way. Now, generally a hand stitch is always more flexible. It's also a little more irregular and not as fine as a machine stitch. In my experience, a hand stitch on a dress shirt does not outlast a machine stitch that is of high quality. So, but then you also have to take into consideration the different occasions. For example, an evening dress shirt or a dress shirt for a business suit, I think looks better with a neatly machine stitched thread versus a maybe more casual shirt that I would wear with a sport coat, right? in a Neapolitan style. That can just look better with more of a hand stitch. At the end of the day, it's a bit like with an expensive timepiece, right? A Casio wristwatch will likely show you the time more accurately than a Patek Philippe Calatrava, which costs tons more money, but people appreciate the level of craftsmanship and workmanship that goes into a timepiece. And it's the same with a shirt that is fully made by hand. It's just a craftsmanship that's really admirable. Now, even though you should keep their house style in mind, ultimately you can decide what the shirt should look like and you can ascertain how comfortable they are or are they even capable of doing what you want. We suggest you do your research and talk to a few bespoke shirt makers before you settle on one to work with. Why? Well, there's often an upfront conversation, there's a consultation and the process of communicating with the craftsman or the craftsperson is really important and in my opinion, a very enjoyable part of the bespoke process. And that's another pro of the bespoke shirt process. You develop a relationship with the shirt maker, with a person. They get to know you and they know exactly what you're looking for and what they can do. And it's just a fun experience. Choosing to work with a craftsman is really about more than just a shirt. You deal with a personality and maybe your personality may clash with a craftsman. In that case, I advise not to work with them because even if they're the best at what they do, if you can't get along with them, it will probably be a disaster project. Also, some customers want to be more involved in a project versus others hire the shirt maker to get their expertise and let them make most of the decisions. If you work with a craftsman who likes to work that way, but you really want to talk about every single detail, maybe that's frustrating for them and it will lead to a shirt that is not as good as it could be. I also think it's a great advantage to have a craftsman there that has nothing but that one item and he can advise you on certain things that he learned over the years are maybe impractical or are something to consider. Of course, keep in mind that a craftsman is not always the best stylist and sometimes they don't know a whole lot about clothes history and maybe let themselves influenced by fashion more like a made to measure company. Now that being said, because a shirt maker who does bespoke shirts focuses on their craft, they're typically rather proud of what they do and they try to learn more and more 
about what they're doing and how it fits into the classic realm of things. I wouldn't blindly trust my tailor or shirt maker to always give me stylistic advice because it may backfire. After all, the shirt maker just knows about shirts. There are no experts on shoes and how it relates to the dress code for the event you wanna go to. Kind of a bespoke shirt is the high upfront cost. Typically, a bespoke shirt doesn't start below $250 to $300, especially not in the first world. And sometimes it can go all the way up to $1,000 or more, depending on the fabric you choose and the renommé of the shirt maker you work with. Of course, there are always outliers, and you may find a bespoke shirt maker in Hong Kong who drafts their own pattern and they offer it at a lower price. Or you can find a made to measure shirt maker from a very expensive brand that charges you more for a made to measure shirt than a bespoke shirt would cost. Now, that being said, a bespoke shirt maker in a first world country will generally work with the highest quality materials because the largest chunk of the shirt will likely be his labor cost and what they put into it. So it would just be silly to work with inferior or not top grade materials. Also, the whole pattern making and getting the fit right takes time. And because of that, shirt makers will often ask you to buy at least three or five shirts. So it's worth their while to build a relationship with a client, draft the pattern, do the measurements, do the fittings, and just get the final product out the door. I mean, just think about it. Whether you make just one shirt or five shirts, the only time difference is the actual sewing of the shirt. Everything else is about the same time. Especially since as you progress, the third shirt will likely use fewer fittings or no fittings at all anymore. While someone could argue that it's a great way to start a classic gentleman's wardrobe, it's also a very expensive one and it will take time. Once you've undergone the entire process and your body hasn't changed in weight or posture, you could likely just call up your shirt maker and say, hey, I want uh, this shirt with all the same details in that fabric and the reorder process is rather easy. And probably because of that, many people stick with a bespoke shirt maker or even shoemaker because they already have that established relationship and they kind of know what they're gonna get. In my experience, unless you have tons of money and you don't care about it and you want the absolute best, starting out from the get-go with a bespoke shirt is probably not the wisest idea. If you go with maybe made to measure or off the rack first, figure out what you like and dislike, and then when you're ready, move on to bespoke, I think you'll be happier and waste less money. And when you're really into clothes like me, a bespoke project can be very tempting in the sense of customizing every single little detail that you can. And it's very easy to get into that scope creep mode where you wanna customize more and more things just because it's unique and individual. That can lead to extravagant details or choices that actually limit you in the way you can wear them. For example, you go with a particularly tall collar or a certain curvature, but it may be too extreme and because you don't have the experience and you don't know exactly what it will look like, it may just be off at the end of the project and you may just not end up wearing that shirt very often. Also think about it, if you get this pale green shirt with a Winchester white club collar. There are only so many occasions and other garments you can wear that with. If you picked it as your first shirt, it's kind of a waste of money if you don't have the basics in your wardrobe already. On the flip side, since green shirts are hard to come by off the record made to measure, maybe it's a good option to choose that bespoke and get the other ones non-bespoke. Sometimes I also find people who actually have a hard time deciding if the sky is a limit and they actually benefit from having a limited choice or range of things. Typically, a bespoke shirt maker can help you and they can give you certain options and then you can deviate from them if you feel particularly strongly in certain situations. When you're new to the bespoke process in general or to the bespoke shirt process in particular, you may have certain ideas and when you're at the shirt maker, you may forget something. So it may help to just create a list of things that you want in your shirt. And you can also maybe go to Instagram or Pinterest and just 
pin certain pictures or details that you like in shirts that you can then reference and show to the craftsman because that way they can understand and get a feeling of what you're after and whether that's something they can deliver or if someone else may be a better fit for you. As you can see, another con of the bespoke process is that it's time consuming. Not only do you need to think exactly about what you want, but you also have to go and find this shirt maker. You have to develop a relationship. You probably have a consultation. Then you have measurements. Then you have fittings and trial shirts. So it all adds up. In my experience, most people who order bespoke dress shirts value their time very highly. And if they would say maybe that one hour it costs them $300, their time that they invest into that garment is actually more expensive than what they pay to the craftsman. So it's just something to keep in mind when you order that good, because maybe you find this really inexpensive shirt maker in Italy that just charges $150 for the shirt, but now you have to travel there, so you have airfare and all your time. Now, it may quickly be a $3,000 shirt. Just something to think about. Also, because you're not the only client and there's so many steps involved, and depending on if they're local in your city or if they're abroad, a bespoke shirt can take anywhere from three weeks, maybe even two weeks, if they're not very busy, to months or even a year. Why? While well, your shirt maker gets sick, the shirt just won't get done. It's as simple as that. Likewise, the fittings depend on your availability and their ability. So if you can't make it, it just pushes the whole process further down the line. All right, with that said, you've made it this far, and you've probably watched part one and part two of the series about off-the-rack and made-to-measure shirts. If you're still undecided about what shirt is right for you, here's a summary. Go with an off-the-rack shirt if you're short on time and you want your biggest bang for the buck. Go with off-the-rack if you find something that suits your taste levels or a brand that creates something that accommodates your sleeve length and your collar size and your body size at a minimum. Go with off-the-rack if you quickly want to build your foundational wardrobe of dress shirts and you're not quite sure yet what the future will hold for you. Go with made to measure if you want to take a step up, if you want to choose your fabrics and combine them with the specific collar choices and cuff choices that you want. And if you have maybe slightly longer arms or something that makes it hard to get the fit you desire from off-the-rack shirts. It's also the option for people who are willing to spend a little more to get a better result and don't mind waiting for the garment or maybe even risking to having redoing it over and over again if it's not right the first or the second time around. Now, go bespoke if you really appreciate craftsmanship and you want the complete personalized experience of the traditional way of making a dress shirt from start to finish in exactly the way you want it. Get a bespoke shirt if you look for an outstanding fit and range of movement and elegance. Also go bespoke if you have any major body asymmetries, if you value high quality stuff and craftsmanship, or if you want something special like a detachable collar or detachable cuffs, for example. Of course, only do so if you have the budget and you're okay with the time frame and a time investment it requires to produce such a high-end product. Today's outfit is a bit unusual for me in the sense that I'm just wearing a dress shirt, which I normally don't do so often. This dress shirt was actually made for me from this company, 100 Hands. It is completely handmade, but it was a made-to-measure product. I selected the collar shape I told them the distance of the stitching on the edge, so I had it stitched very closely. I chose this really nice, soft cotton flannel fabric. I had a monogram embroidered. And if you closely look at the seams, you can see everything on this shirt is hand-stitched. Even down to the folded over hemmed edge, it's quite impressive from the terms of craftsmanship. Does this shirt fit me perfectly? No, but it's a good fit. It's comfortable. I can move around pretty freely and it's not constricting. And I appreciate that the collar stays up 
even though I don't wear any tie or bow tie. I'm pairing it with a pair of green corduroys from Polo Ralph Lauren and a vintage kind of preppy belt that was made in Connecticut. It pairs well with the green pants and my green Albert slippers with a Fort Belvedere logo, which are a prototype. My socks are from Fort Belvedere. They're blue and white, and I'm picking up the colors of the shirt. And the cufflinks are likewise Fort Belvedere. They're our monkey fist nut cufflinks in gold. And you can find both of the Fort Belvedere products in our shop here. 